this will work. Now comes the funny thing. You have placed all the mineral fields, and actually there's uh, surprisingly many. Well, this should be golden, and this should be golden, but I'm too boring. Uh, too boring, I'm too lazy. And uh, now actually comes the funniest thing, and that is to ma make the map funny. And one of the things you can do is, w when you've like checked out all the balances, you have made sure that people can block off here, block off here, and people have free... Uh, not free, but they can uh, go scout with rebels, etc, etc. Then you can start making the more funnier things in the melee map, which I, for one, at least think it's funny. And that is definitely something like sell Naga watchtowers, which is one of what, which is one of the biggest factors when it comes to balance, because the, just so few changes in, in watchtowers can make such a big difference. Let's see if we place two uh, watchtowers here, and we can see the difference, uh, what's it called? the different uh, range view thingies then you can see that with the uh, if you j if you push if you push if you make a watchtower here you can only see you know where people move you can see like the choke points like if you were to place a watchtower here you can see if a protoss walls off even before getting down to his base so you can o you can only like send a drone half the way of the map and you can already see what the protoss is doing so something like watchtowers is extremely ha hard to place, and obviously has to cover the. If there's two watchtowers, they have to cover, you know, the same things. You don't, you don't want to like have a watchtower being able to see one expansion up here, and the other one cannot be seen up here. Once again, it, it's something that can be copied, but you know, it, a little bit of dynamic battleground is funny, and obviously the easiest mode is just to push one, uh, one Tsunaga watchtower that can watch all the movement but uh, l let's spice it up a bit because as, as we can see here there's a big there, there's just two or of course this hill is just one big choke which obviously doesn't work in favor for the Zerg player so well, let's say we put a uh, watchtower here and watchtower uh, here you see none of them can see the the choke points you cannot see if people are fast expanding and you can actually the uh, you know, more expansions, you can only see the troop movements going down to your base. Then, for making it a bit more circ friendly, you can, uh, uh, you can say, uh, whoop, 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 make a little choke point here. Now, it's not like it, it's the world of, uh, it, it actually is the, a world of difference, this from actually not having this closed. Because as a circ player, for example, if the process is here, and you are up here, then attacking him, him in this choke point is absolutely horrible while if you can move around here all the way around and attack him from both sides you know whoop, 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 whatever that's uh, you know that scissor maneuver whatever it's called um, then that's it's much more preferable and that's almost impossible if you have to go all the way around here the protoss will always, almost be in your main by that time so having this really gives it a lot uh, you know make it a lot easier for a Zerg player to fight against a Protoss player and to make it even more, I guess, Zerg friendly then you could uh, experiment with making like ramps up here and uh, I don't know bling and you can use some this <sighs> yes, yes, why not, why not, please have it auto saved oh yes, the Starcraft is a the most reliable program on earth. Please have it auto saved. Please, please, please. I do not want to do this again. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, almost. Sorry, but something is just inevitable. So, what I was trying to say before. Delete this. Uh, well, make make it a big, a bit more roomy, and we'll have to place the Selenaga Watchtower again to show what I'm, what I mean, or what I was trying to show when the editor crashed. Uh, we make a second pair of ramps on the other side, like this. We go in and find some destroyer bro. No rock. Yeah, there we go. And then you can, uh, you know, make rocks here, which, uh, le what, what can we say? 
in the starting or up to mid game, you know, where people are still scouting each other, then uh, these trucks really uh, serves a purpose of not like making them able to run up to this watchtower that makes them scout even closer to your expansion. But when the late game is over and you can destroy these rocks, then it's it's very good for, say, a Zerg player, because then all the big area is almost like free running, there's only a few cliffs, and there's not really anything choking your forces. But, you know, this is one of the things that just really is a balancing issue, depending on what you want with your map, and... and you know, what race you prefer, if I play Protoss, so I will only make Proto, Protoss MIDI maps. Oh, and now I see what, oh, all the minerals have gone. Oh, fucking hell. I'll, uh, I'll pause this video and uh, add the minerals again. And back I am. Sorry for just pausing the recording, but I just had to go in and, you know, copy-paste stuff from the Blizzard maps because I couldn't be bothered doing myself. And, uh, you know, it's sorry to let people see that I just copy-paste stuff to make my things. So I just decided not to record it. Now, when we got pretty much everything covered, uh, I guess not everything, um, so something like line of sight, uh, what's it called? Line of sight blockers could definitely be useful in this area. Uh, but but I'm heaven. Yeah, baby. Hee <laughs> hee. Just blocking the side, these two uh, choke points just makes uh, the Selenaga watchtowers all more uh, enjoyable. Not enjoyable. Uh, exploitable? No. Much more important to have. Let's say if you're Terran, you got seats sank down here, and you can see sit up here. You get a moon up here, and you can see everything. Yeah. Very, very, very good. Very, very good. And uh, yeah, just make it look a, a bit cool, all. Um, now, when all this is in place, it's actually a working MIDI map. Well, not entirely. We definitely need uh, some starting points. Uh, ba -ba -ba need one down there. And we need one up here. Let's say this this is not a balancing, balancing video, uh, <laughs> per se. It's more just an introduction, so to speak. You know, the main size, the expansion size, you know, one and a half screen, one screen. One screen, one screen, and, you know, choke points, the Selenaga watchtowers, you know, the most basics. But then obviously there also comes the decoration that comes with the mini map, and this is also just some kind of... This could also be uh, considered a work of art, just like the balancing. I don't know what is the most funny thing to do, but, um... Well, I also I also posted, posted another video on how to texture stuff, but in this case I'll just do it very fast, I'll just... Uh, speed up the recording, and uh, you'll show... Uh, I I'll show a little bit, uh, I guess I'll show it again, on how to do it very fast, creating a cool, you know, cool looking terrain. And uh, just choose the rocky texture that you think is the most rocky one in the tile set. Uh, go like this. And also get the expansion with me. Get the increment down to 40, get the size fully up. Choose the fractal, fractal brush. Go into the uh, not the completely uh, rocky one, but the second most rocky texture you can find. Yep. And just paint it out, not to the edges, but close to it. Do 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 do. Okay, done. Choose uh, whatever trademark texture you got for the terrain, and almost, almost texture out the, the almost most rocky thingy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> city to explain. I know my English is very bad, but <laughs> nothing to do now. But uh, to just uh, live with what I can do. There, whatever. Uh, you know what? Go watch the video. Uh, I'll just speed this recording up while I take this map. Um, I, I guess it's on my channel or something. Uh, maybe I'll post it in the same topic. Uh, I don't know. But there's another video of me showing how exactly to do this. I'll just speed up the recording as I texture the stuff. Wherever a sign is Whenever a secret falls
Now uh, the the what's it called texturing is almost done. As you can see, uh, it looks okay. It took approximately five minutes to texture this entire map. So if you have any trouble texturing, then you might want to check up on one of the other texturing videos I made, uh, because it definitely goes faster than whatever you're doing probably. Well, I don't know. That was something stupid to say, but um. I'm not gonna bother making a lot of, uh, what's it called, uh, a whole lot of, you know, details uh, with the surrounding. Obviously, you can make like a forest areas down the cliffs and, you know, small villages and so on, but today I'm just gonna use some stupid water just for the heck of it. I cannot be bothered to do anything cool out of this map since I will most likely just delete it. Uh, but obviously, I have to make it as good as possible so you can see how to make a MIDI map from scratch to finished product. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum. And now when all the, what's it called, all the textures are in place, this is just, uh, you know, the most basic texturing I can think of. Then you also obviously want to make your own little, uh, your own little touch in the train, so to speak, to get all the details uh, as you want them. For example, say something like here, you can uh, Put in some fog. Yeah, missed. Because that's just cool. And, don't know. Blood splats, yeah. Oops. Oh, buggy editor. Right, uh, they look too ugly. Well, I cannot be bothered. Um, but when it comes to something like f foliage, then, uh, yes, you definitely want foliage, because, well, it, it just gives so much, so, so, such a, such a better, Better look on the map. You just want to uh, get the brush that disallow foliage, and then you just want to disallow it or near all the near all the you know the places where you build, where it's you know supposed to be foliage free because people are walking and building there. So obviously there's no need for any foliage there, and that's pretty easily done. Believe me, foliage is it really helps a lot on the terrain because it's it's not. You know, it's some random stuff. It always helps in the terrain. Uh, having a hard time explaining it. But you just want to deny all the foliage, you know, where you know people are running. I think that's is, that's the best way to explain it. I really, really hope that uh, the foliage won't get generated on the cliffs that I got. But uh, knowing the you know, StarCraft editor, then it might be. And two, oh, that's a lot. One in the foliage editor is pretty much, it's probably okay. As, as you can see, it doesn't generate on the normal cliff thingies, only on the on the grass. And obviously I have uh, I have deleted most of the, oh, that's too much foliage. But I, I always delete foliage on the places where people walk, and uh, Seeing as this is a heaven maps, like choke points like this with line of sight plans to make it look good, I obviously decide to keep it because it's a grassy terrain. It looks pretty. Yay. And also in here, uh, it looks pretty ugly. So, this would do fine. You can, you can, you can add